Hey, welcome everyone. We've got some exciting trading opportunities that's been taking place with our work. A lot of you guys, if you have Thinkorswim, you've got um, what you're looking here on your screen is our Thinkorswim, and you can kind of see a couple things that we've been posting in the live trading room. First and foremost, let's go over here. We'll look at our one hour chart and let's get that going back again. Uh, people in the trading room might not be happy with me, but let's get going to the one hour. Well, we'll just leave it here. We posted, <laughs> sorry about that. It wants to not do anything. We posted a, uh, a breakdown strategy setup. Uh, we said if the market uh, had a 15 minute close underneath the swing low, get short if you weren't already in a trade. Now we've been in a trade from yesterday in our SQQ uh, long side breakout model. And I'll just bring this into focus so you don't have to kind of look at things. Here's our SQQ trade setup that we have right here. Uh, this is based off our Algo 17 optimizer. And many of you guys are in the live trading room no, we posted this trade out there. It's scaled out of 10% of the trade, and it's still riding the trade to the upside. This is SQQQ. It's the inverse ETF. When NASDAQ goes down, this bad boy goes up. It's got a great model to it. We're actually long the SQQQ currently for our uh, J-Person asset management client. So we are short the market virtually by being long an inverse ETF. We also today added on a breakdown, and you'll see in the live trading room, this line in the sand, uh, you could see that we talked about, look to try to be short the market on a con confirmation of a breakdown and join the trade. So this was a, uh, another wonderful way to trade. And we also pointed out that guys, you wanted to be in long SDS. Now we got tight stops. And then finally, let me just bring up into our live algo room, for those that are not interested in ETF trades that are more day trading orientated, um, there's a couple things that we have going on in our algo room. And so let's uh, get that up posted for you and I'll share these uh, setups and strategies that are happening right now. All right, so what you see here, we have two trading rooms at the same time. And the technology allows us to do certain things like if you look here in the main room, uh, I posted, I did a, re a recording. You can go back. If I do something, you can take a look at my analysis, plus or minus, meaning it was around 1045 or 1040 this morning, which I went over a setup combining a benchmark pivot and OBV uh, using a 60 to 40 minute time frame. So of what validates why we are short the market. So our, uh, again, the model here, we're still short SPY which we took advantage of rather than selling short SPY, we went long SDS. And we are actually in that trade as well. For disclosure, we are currently long SDS, investing in the fact that the market's gonna go down in the S&P 500. So being long SDS is an inverted ETF. The day trade model of our ALGO 17 optimizer, um, I'm not sure, when it was back in March sometime, but I posted a five minute model in the ES and the British pound. Those settings are the same ones that we're using right here. Short, covered, uh, as you can see, it got long, got out, and then went short, and it did cover, and it's flat the market right now. We've had a hell of a run in this market, gang. What do I see going forward? Real simple, the setup is this. When you have an S&P 500 in our live trading room, we have these algos running, number one. Number two, they're programmed based on the work that I've done 20 years ago in that book there that eventually it's in the publisher's hand finally. The second edition is coming out and what I'm still using into this day and age from that book over there that launched the popularity of specific dojis. We did back test studies on specific candles pivots, last additional changes, and again, volume studies, as well as modernized indicators such as a PMC relative strength indicator with Thinkorswim and TradeStation. We also have that on HGSI. We also have a lot of wonderful work that we've done with Trade Navigator Genesis. So all of these indicators that I've created and modernized 
have come from that book written 20 years ago, which a lot of people have picked up on, other educators, other traders, and it's done uh, a very helpful work for a lot of you folks. So the moral of the story is we've taken that work and been able to apply it into a trading strategy system and that we have in front of people day in and day out live. And it's just absolutely spectacular. And to the point where we use it for managing money. And that's the key element and how we take advantage of these trades. So moving forward, the setup is simply this. When you get a couple of things that we line up our trading room, if you get a setup to sell and my volume indicator, now this is again a volume indicator. It's a momentum volume indicator. When the volume's going down and you got a short signal, baby, uh, that's telling you that there is distribution, heavy distribution. So another uh, function that we look at is ATR. Now this is something I taught people probably 30 years ago. And in the S&Ps, generally speaking, markets go down a lot farther and faster than they go up. So it's an average true range developed by Wells Wilder does not, it's not a trend directional indicator, but it does indicate condition. And the condition is when the markets in the S&P 500 or stock indices go down, Generally speaking, ATRs go up. So if you've got an, a rise in ATR, decline in volume, and a sell signal, if you don't take that short, that's, you've got an issue. You, you, need, you, need, you need to work on the mental mindset game, okay? Because you don't have the confidence to pull the trigger. Now, to add that is if the advances in the S&P 500, and as you can see, this is the decliner. So we break this down for our traders. And that's why we have the advanced decline, cumulative average, not the tick, not the trend. That's on taking a measurement of the NYSE. And why am I trading the NYSE? I'm trading the S&P 500. So if the S&P 500 stocks and the trend is down and the advanced decline is so negative, baby, that's the trend setup right there. And that allows us to, to, to also uh, profit from those momentum trades. Lastly, um, I will point out this up here in the live trading room, which you can see from yesterday. Um, main room, yesterday at 11.35, if the NQ futures breaks first hour low, place a stop, blah, 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 and look to stop in a long position at SQQ, and that's exactly what we did, and I showed you that's how we traded, in fact, for the uh, J-Person Asset Management. In addition, I said... I went back and even furthermore said for added confirmation of a late afternoon stock market decline. Now remember, the market yesterday didn't even decline until late afternoon. So I was saying if we were going to get a breakdown, watch the VXX. So this line in the sand, a yellow line in the sand, 3309. You see that right there? 3309. This is based off my LCC indicator. Very powerful. And it was another one that was in that book right there, page 264, by the way. So I said, if you get a close, and that's the greater sign than 3309, we're going to see volatility spike, which should help accelerate downside in the market. So currently, the advanced decline is negative, and this was yesterday, 188 versus 307. And I said, if volume and breadth continue to deteriorate past lunch hour, the odds increase for a late afternoon break. Guys, this is the kind of factual information we put out. It's not political it's just looking technical and how to take advantage of it and this is what we're doing in the live room you can take advantage of it by doing futures with us you can do it by etfs and if you want to take that education further and apply an option strategy so be it but our live community is doing very well with these indicators and this setup and once again i do invite you to come to our live trading room give it a give it a whirl you have to put up with my magnanimous magnanimous personality at times and more importantly, I do play some music theme songs every once in a while. And I feel one by, uh, actually it was uh, a Jeff Beck song, uh, I believe when he was with Faces. It's called Going Down. Stevie Ray Vaughan picked it up. And that's a hell of a song for this market environment because we seem to be going down. Uh, if you're not familiar with that song, take a listen. This is where it's going. You may have heard this song before, maybe not. And I don't want to turn this YouTube video into a 20 minute long rendition because this is a Stevie Ray Vaughan live. And this is it, baby. So if you're short with us here, this is the theme song for today. Anyway, 
We look forward to the next video. I hope you found information helpful on what we do around here. Thanks again. Have a great trading session.